What is up all you literary femmes and gents, it is your girl Deja and I am back with a brand new video on my channel. Happy Singles Awareness Day everybody. I'm just kidding, like literally the Happy Valentine's Day. Today is a day in which we have expressions of love everywhere. Like even I woke up to like this cute like little mug sitting on my dresser with this dog in it. My dad got this for me and says you're awesome and I was just like aw thanks dad. I appreciate it. So the original idea for this video was something completely different <laughs> than what I'm about to do. But TV Guide just released uh, Shadow. They were releasing Shadow Hunters promos today, and they released uh, a Clay's one first. And I was just kind of like, oh, okay, right, it, cool. And then they released Malik. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> It was one of the, it was like the most painful 30 seconds of my life. I right, hold on. Oh. oh. It was so beautiful. And it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm about to start crying again. I need to control myself. It's so in honor of that beautiful glimpse into season three. What we're gonna be dealing with and I'm just looking forward to a whole bunch of heartache and a lot of pain and a lot of tears and a lot of tissues and I was like I need some ice cream for this. <laughs> I've been in a group chat with a whole bunch of other people and we were just talking about how everybody's just gonna die the entire third season. Anyways, that's besides the point. It was so beautiful you guys like y'all don't even know. If you have not watched the Malik trailer for season 3 or the Clay's trailer or even the trailer for season 3 of Shadowhunters please 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 go do it it's oh my god please go do it please Ugh. so anyways like I was saying in order to honor that beautiful trailer that just came out and since today is Valentine's Day I decided to make this video of 25 reasons why you should ship Malik. Of course, there's an infinitesimal amount more than 25, but for the sake of the length of this video, we're shortening it down to 25. They're dynamic together. Literally, just go watch any episode and you look at any scene that has Magnus and Alec in it, you can just feel it between the two of them. Magnus is somebody that can be vulnerable with Alec. Literally, he told Alec one thing that he had never told anybody else about the story about his mom and how he killed his stepdad, and he was vulnerable in that moment, and then Alec leaned in and gave him a hug. He was like, oh, Jesus, he was like, there's something ugly about you, and I was just like, oh, I'm okay. I'm good. I promise. I promise. I will get through this video somehow. Magnus is the only person that can call Alec Alexander. Literally throughout the whole show, even his parents are not allowed to call him by that. Right? All you hear is Alec, Alec, Alec. And then here comes Magnus, Alexander. And oh, I, I'm not gonna lie. Every time he says Alexander, I swoon. And then you have like that one episode where he was like, what do you want, Shadowhunter? I, I, my heart just shattered. It broke. I was, I had a pause. I was like, rude. Alec follows his gut more because of Magnus. Literally, there were decisions that Alec was doing like in the beginning of like season one where it was just following the law because that's what the Clave has said. But finally in season two, he, he told Inquisitor Herondale, he was like, you're right because it was a warlock who told me to always follow my gut. And this is wrong. And I was like, you tell him, babe. That's what I'm talking about. I was so proud. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry, I need to calm down. I was so proud of him in that moment. I was just, I was just over here like, bitch. <laughs> Magnus and Alex support each other. Like, literally, like, Magnus tells Alec, whatever you decide to do, I am behind you 100%, right? And that's something that's always good to have in a relationship is somebody that can have your back, but also somebody who will tell you when you're going in the wrong direction, so don't forget that, too. Magnus never has to hide who he really is around Alec, right? When they was kind of getting to like the little flexy scene in like 218 and like Al Ma Magnus's um, eyes turned yellow, like Alec was like, they're beautiful. He was like, you're beautiful. And I was like, y'all are beautiful. 
I was, oh my god, Amanda, who directed that episode, man, she answered all of our prayers. We were like, yes. We were like, Amanda, bless. Love at first sight. Okay, like, when we first saw Alec see Magnus, right, when they were fighting off the Circle member, Alec couldn't even say his name properly, and I was just like, oh, boy in love. He in love. I was like... <laughs> Alec is one of those soft romantic people, which is exactly what Magnus deserves. When he got him the little charm from when they went to Japan, Magnus was so happy, and, like, you see it throughout, like, a couple, like, episodes afterwards, because he was like, no, you know, nobody's ever really gotten me, like, a gift like this, and I was just like, mm, it's, it's the little things that count. Alec came out of the closet for Magnus, Literally, and at his wedding at that, he stepped off the dais and he walked up to that sexy warlock and he just on the right freak yes, right? The Malik episode was probably one of my favorite episodes in the entire like Shadow Hunter, first two seasons of Shadow Hunters. Season three you might have a little bit to say about that, but for now it's still 112. That's still my episode. Alec can let his guard down around Magnus. Like, when they were in bed um, afterwards and Alec cracked a joke, I was like, what? Alec over here cracking jokes? And I, and I just thought that that was so sweet. I was like, he... And then the fact that um, when you were looking at his flashbacks and Alec was like, I don't know why, but I trust you. And I was like, because you feel the connection between you two. It's called love. It's a beautiful thing. They can read each other without having to use words, right? When Alec was feeling kind of down, Magnus was like, I know something wrong, something's wrong, and I'm just gonna, you know, wait until you want to talk to me. And then when Magnus was going through his situation, Alec was like, it was you, who was a good, it was a warlock who told me that don't push me away when things get hard. And I was like, oh, he can tell that something's wrong with you, babe. Just just talk to him. And then, oh, yeah, anyways, I I could go forever and forever on with this, with this ship. I love it so much. They always come back to each other, right? All the little spats and arguments that they have, even the fact that they, like, broke up in one of the, well, broke up, in one of the episodes, like, they still, like, came back to, to each other. Like, Alex said, he's like, we always find our way back to each other. And I was just like, yeah, y'all do. Because if it's, if it's love, that's what it does. It, it draws you together because it's a beautiful, powerful force. Even when they argue, they're still in love. Like, for instance, the episode where, like, they were trying to figure out, like, who was killing and, like, tearing off the rooms off the Shadow Hunters, and he asked for Magnus' hair, and Magnus was upset, and then he invited Dot over, and he was just like, I'm still in love with Alec. I may be upset at him at the moment, but we're still in love. And I've always been a one-soul type of guy, and I was like, my man. Magnus is loyal, right? And that's, and, mm, that's all I really have to say about that. Magnus is loyal, and so is Alec. They're loyal to each other. They have problems like every other couple does, okay? They have issues with, okay, do you, do my parents like you? <laughs> of course Maris doesn't like Magnus, okay? What are we going to do about when we're out in public? Oh, I don't care what people think about me, but, you know, I have a reputation to uphold. They have their own problems in which they deal with, too. Two words, domestic Malik. I'm talking in the kitchen, cooking breakfast, watching TV and movies with popcorn, just cuddling type domesticity. I want it. It's season three. We asked for it. I'm hoping that they will deliver because I'm in need. I'm in need. Really. They make a badass fighting duo, okay? They had like that one scene in like two in season two where they fought together. I mean, Izzy was there too, but we were kind of just like, eh, right? But there is a training scene apparently in season three, and I was, and they showed, it. bless Matt Hastings, like really like bless his soul for all of like, the little snippets that he gives us because I promise you I watched that clip like. 30 or 50 times. I was just like, my, my body is ready. Alec has a positive influence on Magnus. 
Because for reasons that some may or may not know, Magnus kind of closed off his heart. But he said that Alec has unlocked something inside of him because he's Alec is not what he thought he was. He's more than just the average shadow hunter that Madness has come across. And I'm so happy for that. And I'm just like, yes. Changing perceptions is what Alec does on a daily basis. Hashtag representation matters. So first of all, Alec is gay. Second of all, Madness is bisexual, right? Representation of all different sexualities always matters. Their relationship is like super controversial in the shadow world. Like the fact that Alec is gay is like, it's not a great, like thankfully so far it hasn't like come up as like a big issue and I'm hoping it stays that way, right? There were times like in the book where it was a little bit of an issue that they brought up, but thankfully it hasn't been like that big of an issue, but I'm glad that the fact that they just addressed it and the fact that it's a very don't ask, don't tell type of society and Alec is kind of just like, well screw your rules then. Alec may not know Magnus's past, but he loves Magnus in his all of his entirety. And I love that because, unfortunately, I'm hoping that that's one aspect that they kind of just let slide from the book series. So that way we can just have, you know, angsty, happy Malik. It's like, I don't want sad. I don't mind angsty, but I prefer happy. Even when Alec was dying... He felt Magnus's presence. He was like, I felt you there. And it did help. And I was like, I'm okay. I'm good. Nope. I'm, I'm, nope. I'm keeping it calm. Keeping it cool. They're honest with each other. Magnus told Alec about a time when, like, he was suicidal and the fact that he used to be, like, deeply in love with Camille. And he felt comfortable enough with Alec to tell him that. Now... Alec, on the other hand, that's a little bit of a different situation. Alec, though sometimes what he says may come off as like very like brutish, he's still always completely, well, for the most part, mm, honest with Magnus. Best ship ever. Literally, I will go down, I will captain this ship until I die. Even when people have forgotten about the show or have forgotten about the books, regardless of what people are out there posting on social media, ruining reputations and stuff, I will go down with Malik's ship. I will, I will, I will, I will fight me, fight me. I, uh. And last but not least, they are a power couple. The head of the New York Institute, Alexander Gideon Lightwood, and the High Warlock of Brooklyn, Magnus freaking Bane. Oh my god. So if you guys are a huge fan of Malik like I am, give me your own like top 5 or top 10, you don't have to do 25, reasons of why you think that Malik is like the greatest ship out there. If you're a Clay's fan or if you're like ship Sizzy, that's okay too. We can all love Shadowhunters and all the different couples that they give us equally and in the same light. I just happen to prefer Malik because them, them my babes, this is my, my babies. So anyways, that is all that I have for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from moi. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!